Hi, I'm Karen Epperson, and today Bonnie King Taylor is sharing with us her top tips for staying sane and safe during these scary and confusing times. Yeah. Bonnie King Taylor is an award winning life coach and counselor specializing in self awareness and personal evolution. She's an expert in interpersonal communication and change management. She has over 20 years of experience in private practice, and with her direct and innovative approach, she creates and inspires deep trust and positive action toward achieving one's highest potential in their career, family, and relationships. Bonnie, we're so happy that you're here with us today, helping to keep us sane and safe. Let's Thanks, get started. Sarah. Tell us, tell us what you, you've got several things I know that you are expert in, and we want to talk about this. Excellent. Thank you so much, Karen. It's, it's really a joy to be able to bring some proactive and positive tools in a time when people are feeling like their lives are really out of control. And speaking of that, there are three different ways that people generally deal with situations like this, either from a fear base, from an unfocused base, or a strategic base. And I'm sure, you know, my having said that I've got top tips for managing, you know which category I'm coming down in. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> right. I'm, I'm hoping that everybody takes a more strategic approach to it, but right. just to and clarify, not the fear based. Right, not the fear based, because that keeps us in a very negative frame of mind, which frankly, as much as we can alleviate some of this fear, the healthier we're going to be in the long run. We don't want to be unfocused either, because that means we're sort of in the middle. You can liken it to maybe putting your head in the sand, and that's not a good perspective either because there is information that we do need. We just need to make sure that we're not overindulging in information. Yes, because it's everywhere in the news and it's all around us all the time. It's everywhere it seems. So it's important to focus on what you want rather than what you don't want. And what we've been seeing in the news, which is very good advice, but not, not framed in the ways that's helpful to us is yeah. don't try, you know, don't touch your face. And I'm going to ask you, stop trying to not touch your face <laughs> <laughs> because your brain doesn't hear, don't do it. It just hears, touch your face. It's ah. like that old joke, you know, don't think about pink elephants. That's, you know, lasted the test of time because it's true. <laughs> Whatever imagery you're thinking about, you're going to focus more on. So what I'm hoping is that well, people, people will start thinking about how to use your hands in a different way. You know, okay. instead of don't do this, which is driving everybody crazy, and who knew we touched our faces that much anyway, right. is to figure out, for instance, if you're walking down the street, put your hands in your pockets and imagine you're a runway model, right? We're just walking down the street, you know, <laughs> um, strutting our stuff, but ensuring because our hands are in our pockets that we're not touching the things that we're afraid of. Yeah, that's and great. This may seem silly, but this is my solution for it. If you cross your arms and think to yourself, this is me feeling swell. This is how I'm keeping well. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> I know it seems silly, but I'm going to prove to you in a second why it's so important. Now. If I do do this, right, if I put my hand on my hip and my other arm up like this and I do this, what do you immediately think of? I'm a little teapot. I'm a little teapot. And why do you know that? I guess because I said it a hundred million times when I was a kid. You said it a hundred million times when you were a kid. That's right. And it has rhythm and rhyme. And yep. we repeated it a kabillion times, right? Mm -hmm. right? I can tell you this 100% of the time across generations and across cultures. Every time I do that, the person knows what I'm talking about. Interesting. It's remarkable. And mm. so that kind of process is what's going to help us to change our perspective instead of, don't be afraid of, fill in the blank. If we come up with tools like that to help us focus on the behavior that we choose, it's gonna be much easier to adapt and it'll be long lasting because let's face it, Washing your hands has always been a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> that is so true. So you're saying the repetition of yes. the positive, uh, you know, replacing a thought with another thought that's something positive and then repeating that is going to build new neural pathways or it's going to create a different uh, outlook for us. We're not going to be afraid. That's or not exactly as afraid. right. Okay. That's exactly it. Because you are building new neural pathways. That's exactly what happens with your, your brain matter. You can rewrite those old patterns. And having something that you can feel 
either it, either it's funny, which is always my preference, or at least seems more powerful, it's going to help replace some of those negative habits. So yes, right. absolutely. And then you feel more in control. A hundred percent. Yeah. Yes. Great. That's wonderful. So you you've kind of told us how our brain works and gone over some hand management, but yeah. how can you help us with uh, the incessant um, information that just keeps coming at us? How can we learn to focus and turn off, um, maybe unplug? I don't know. What do we need yeah. to do? There's so much information out there. And the, the, the clues in what you just said, it's about unplugging. Not, not hiding from the information, but managing it in a way that's actually going to work for you. For mm -hmm. instance, you can set a schedule where you check the news no more than three times a day and never after dinner. Right? Oh, interesting. You know, we, we end the end of the day, you know, we, if we're going to be working from home or even if you do have to leave home, right. you end the day and you think, okay, I'm just going to power down, we think, and go to my screens. Now, yeah. I'm not saying to avoid screens, but be very mindful that the information you take into sleep, just like we were talking about repetition, when we take information into sleep, it's going to get in there more deeply. So you're saying that this information gets into our subconscious? It gets we, in, in that theta state. A hundred percent. Whenever you're in the most relaxed state possible is when you are the best at learning, right? right? We don't learn under stress. And this is another reason why I think it's so important to be mindful of how we consume news. When you are in the fight or flight mindset, mm -hmm. you, you are not capable of being creative on a chemical level. Right? It's not time for that, right? It's not time for that. Thank you. That's exactly it. It's the time to fight or run. It's really, really important yeah. to keep in mind how and when you're learning. Ah, interesting. Yeah. So to manage the news and manage the times that you take the news in. Right. Really right. can help with your attitude and with your outlook. And I, I have to say, I love data. Oh, you know, I love me some information. Yeah. And I'm very happy that the CDC, um, tally and the the website that um the young 17 year old gentleman put together that has all of the real-time data i'm glad that those exist but right. please do not spend your days staring at those numbers right this particular issue that we're all dealing with can only be dealt with on the physical level because you and i are not the scientists that are coming up with a vaccine that is true we are not the healthcare workers who need to manage the protocols for how to mm -hmm. care for sick right patients, right we can only solve it on the physical level okay that's interesting so if we've learned how our brain works and we've you've given us some tools on uh, some repetition and some activities that we can do to yeah. try to put positive things in and, and create positive habits. Um, we're managing our news intake, but then how do we manage our lives? How do we, I mean, social connection is so important. It what would really you recommend is. That we do about that? It's so, so important to us. And it's interesting in a way, I think that, that if there are any upsides to an experience like this, it's that it's, it's causing people to think more about their connections. Because, hmm. you know, think about all the people that you say to yourself, I'd really like to have lunch with thus and so friend or a family mm -hmm. member, you know, mm -hmm. I'm going to get to that because I'm super busy with my work and I've got all this other stuff going yeah. on. So we'll get to that someday. And I'm suggesting that now's the time to have a virtual lunch. Virtual okay. lunch? Find um, a recipe that you really like and make it, and then invite somebody to come. Like right now, you and I are using the tool called Zoom, yes. which there's a free version and there's some paid versions. And I'm going to tell you right now, as of this morning, I've decided I'm absolutely upgrading my subscription because the CEO of Zoom is now donating this very stable and easy to use product to all the schools that are doing oh distance goodness. learning. That's fantastic. Donating it for free. And That's I'm going to support that. Right. Absolutely. So, so say, you know, you and I are, we've got a half an hour between projects that we're doing or, or in the middle of our work day. Mm -hmm. And I say, you know, Karen, I found this really excellent um, recipe for a vegan stew. I think you might really like, so I'm going to sit you down. Know with me too my, well. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know me too well. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> So I've got my recipe, you've got your thing, you know, oh, I really tried this and I enjoyed it. 
we can share, there's a, a chat feature on Zoom, so we can share the recipe oh. while we're talking. Wow. Um, but you and I, you know, we can sit down and have a few minutes conversation, support mm -hmm. each other in being positive, maybe, you know, talk through some, I'm not sure how to handle whatever the thing is, and right. have that connection as, it, you know, the same or probably even better than if we're sitting in a restaurant somewhere. No distractions. Right. Right. Can, there are no distractions. No one can overhear what we're saying. We can just yeah. have a very focused interaction. I strongly recommend that people do this with their family and friends so that we reduce, because we're using the word isolation as if it's, you know, really scary and solitary. And in, mm -hmm. at this point, it's not. Because mm -hmm. we have the technology to breach that sense of loneliness or, or being alone through technology. So we should take advantage of it. We I mean, we're in an age and a time where we can connect with anyone all over the world. I know. It's amazing. It is amazing. I mean, some of my clients are far, as far away as South Africa and Canada, and um, I've got one who's coming online from Denmark. So, you know, it, it, it's a wonderful way to reach each other. And what I think is interesting, as I know I've mentioned to you before, that I'm probably only the adult you've ever met who has never owned a cell phone. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when I'm talking about these virtual lunches or starting a virtual book club, for instance. Oh, that's you know, a great idea. Get friends together to, to talk about important books. Um, I'm, you know, I just imagine that, you know, somebody, this is my phone, but, um, you know, instead of sitting in the restaurant looking at, the, at your phone <laughs> while your friend is across the table, yes. you can actually yes. be talking to your friend <laughs> on the device instead. I love it. That's perfect. Yeah. And, Speaking of, the, of book clubs and sharing books, you know, I've been thinking about in this period of time when um, we don't have as much going on in terms of having to be out in the world, right. why not fill our minds up with really good ideas? Right. That's so much more productive than sitting around worrying about something you can't control. This is what I'm saying. <laughs> and in terms of, of controlling what you can control, yes. let's go back to uh, for a second to our hands, which are the ick delivery system, right? I mean, this right. is... This is the way, and it, the virus can be um, spread through droplets when we cough or sneeze, but yes. most of, of the way we're going to get infected is touching ourselves. Yes. And so I wanted to make a couple of recommendations about that. One thing that people seem to be mistaken on is that you do not need to scald your hands, right? The hot, the heat of the, the temperature of the water that you're using is not the point. Okay. The reason we're washing our hands for 20 seconds is we want to give the elements of the soap, not the hand sanitizer, but the soap, right. time because it disintegrates the lining of the cells. You know, oh, the, interesting. The outer coating. Breaking the down the virus. Breaking down the virus and then I washing like it. it away as fully as possible. I love that. Because we have oils, we have sticky stuff that we pick up from other surfaces. Yeah. We have yeah. that on our hands, and so we need to eliminate as much of that as possible. Okay. I've seen, and I don't have the link. I'll try to find it and put it in the, the information below, but I've seen photographs of, you know, no soap, um, soap, but not long enough, mm -hmm. uh, uh, a couple of other things, and then the last one is soap for long enough, and you can see through this infrared photography that by the time you get over here, there's almost nothing on your hands. Wow. And everybody is looking at washing their hands this much as a chore. And I get that. But referring back to the beginning of the conversation, yes. to focus on what you want rather than the yes. negative aspects of it. Yes. So everybody seems to have their version of, you know, a pop song or an epic poem or a TV scene or movie quotes or something that they're reciting to themselves. I'm yes. going to ask you to choose the most earwormy, make you either <laughs> laugh or cringe kind of thing. So here's yeah. what I've come up with. You Something will stick in your head. Something will stick in your head. Here we go. And I'm going to say in advance, sorry, not sorry for the earworm. <laughs> baby shark, one, 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 one. Baby shark, two, 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 two. Baby shark, two, three, two, three, three, three. Baby shark, <laughs> three, three. Babe, okay, you see where I'm going here? <laughs> I do. I like it. <laughs> so as you're counting... You are, you are, we will actually have washed your hands for longer than 20 seconds. Oh, that's fantastic. You get to number 20. <laughs> <laughs> so oh. find something like that that you can really, you know, um, res resonate with. Also be very, very careful of the undersides of your nails. Now, I don't have nails naturally. They don't really grow that well on me. But, um, you know, doctors, when you watch TV shows, they're yeah. brushes. So I recommend doing that. 
the one time that your nails are the cleanest is when you finished washing your hair. Ah, interesting. You know, yeah. Think about this. The, the soap obviously is on your hands. And when mm -hmm. you're running your hands through your hair, the hair is getting underneath your nails and therefore cleaning them out. Okay. I'm not recommending that you wash your hair four times a day, but <laughs> strive for that much uh, cleanliness, right? Now, one of the downsides of washing our hands as much as we need to now is that your skin can become very dry and cracked. And oh, that's yes, already noticed that. Almost worse, right? So mm -hmm. it's very important. You can find a really high emollient hand lotion, you know, one that, that's really thick and, and has a lot of water content in it. Mm -hmm. Gather up your hands and wear, you know, the cotton gloves that you can get at the discount store. Mm -hmm right? Most of the time, beauty influencers will tell you to wear those at night because- Yes, during your sleep. In your and feet. socks on your feet, same, yeah. Exactly. So that's a really good way to do it. But I would also submit that when you're, you know, binging screen time or when you're walking the dog or some other circumstance, you can wear them as well. Oh, and that has the extra added bonus that you're not touching anything you don't want to, and you can wash them in soap. Perfect. Right? So yes. like latex gloves and stuff, you're not going to throw in the washing machine with soap, right? No. So mm -hmm. you never know what's still stuck on them. Mm -hmm. Now, another thing to, to consider is uh, I don't have much of a relationship with, well, they're all passed away, but I didn't have much of a relationship with my family members, but my female ancestors were all great needle workers. And so I have a collection of fancy little hankies. Oh, nice. You can also get handkerchiefs at the dollar store. Uh -huh. um, or at your, you know, favorite retailer. And I carry this for door handles and picking things up when I'm not wearing gloves. Interesting. And yet another thing that you can throw in the washer with soap. Yes, I love that. I love that the, everything that you're suggesting we can wash. Yeah, because for, if you're sneezing or coughing, use a tissue and dispose of it. Right. Hands, hands down, no pun intended. You do not want to keep those no. fluids, right? Right. Um, and also consider if it's workable for you to use something like a humidifier to keep your environment um, more moist because that will keep your nose from drying out as well. Mm. Great tips, Bonnie. Thank and you. One last thing is be sure to wash the things that touch other things. Mm -hmm. And the, a couple of things that we don't generally pay, pay attention to are cleaning our phones and cleaning our keys. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Great. This is all wonderful stuff. So you're telling us that we need to take care of ourselves while we're still well so that we right. don't get sick. Right. Please treat your body as if you were already sick. You know, the, the things that we hear when uh, we have the flu or something are the things we really ought to be doing all the time, but then forget. All the time. We should be washing our hands and all those right? things. Yes. All mm -hmm. the time we should be doing that. I love the meme that says, you know, I was washing my hands before it was cool. <laughs> um, <That's funny. laughs> but, you know, drink a lot of water. Avoid mm -hmm. irritants if you can, sugar, alcohol, um, stimulants, you know, anything of high stimulant. Uh, please try not to smoke if you can avoid it because yes. irritating the, the cells of your lungs are not going to be helpful. Get no. as much sleep as you can and eat the best food that you can. And mm -hmm. speaking of that, speaking of food, if you are not um, uh, at risk with food, chances are pretty good that you have a lot of stuff in your cupboards that, you know, you bought and just never used up. Mm -hmm. During this time when we don't want to be going out a lot, try right. shopping in your cupboard. Oh, you that's know, such a good point. Look at the, for the various things. And I, I've been doing this over the last couple of days. I'm like, wow, this looks so cool. Why did I get <laughs> it? You know? And yeah. you can go to, uh, someone was just telling me earlier, there are websites like Epicurious, and I'm sure there are probably others, where you can go and plug in some ingredients and they will bring up the recipes. Oh my goodness, I did not know that. I did not either. That is such that's a awesome. genius that's wonderful. idea. Yeah, so, I love that. You know, I've got some jackfruit in cans in the back of my cupboard. I'm like, hmm, it's <laughs> an adventure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these, these are all so wonderful. Great tips, uh, very Thank practical. You. I love that you know, you've kind of helped us with our mental and with our physical and then with our emotional. Yeah. And it can help people that are really struggling. Thanks. And, and in some cases, it will be a lot. There are people who are dealing with family members who are at risk. And so there's a tremendous amount of fear around that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we're, we're developing sort of negative views of other people who aren't handling things in the same way that we are, which mm -hmm. makes us feel more at risk. So there's a lot of fear. And I would be more than happy to help folks. I mean, 
um, if anyone at any point feels like they're at risk in terms of perhaps not wanting to go on, I strongly, strongly just want to remind everybody that the Samaritans have an incredibly valuable suicide prevention hotline. And they oh. are available 24-7, 365. I will put a link in the uh, comments below. There, it's a, a wonderful resource. The kind of service that I provide is very, as you can tell, proactive. I want people to use humor and grit and strategy to get mm -hmm. to the places that they want to be. Um, it's not that I don't want to hear about what's brought you to this point. I just want to make sure that you get beyond it. Perfect. So you have a website as well? I do. My website is bonniekingtaylor.com, king-taylor.com. And I also have an 866 number, 866-821-9386, um, where you can call and leave me a message and I can get back to you. You can also find me on Facebook at Bonnie BJ King hyphen Taylor. Wow. Thank you so much, Bonnie. You've just given us so many practical tools and helpful <laughs> hints and, and great ideas to really ponder and think about, but also move us from a place of fear to a place of hope and a play. And now this is going to pass. Yeah. And I love the idea that we can actually be doing some self-development and focusing on, you know, the positive aspects of uh, personal evolution, as opposed to, falling falling down into the mire of all this fear and despair yeah so. and thank you so much karen i really appreciate being able to spend time with you oh i love it i love it thanks everybody join us again thanks bye-bye